This building's so small. Whoa, I can fly back here? Holy crap, I never knew that. What's actually back here? Escalators to nowhere? Escalators and a drop to your death? Death escalators? This airport sucks. There's not even any planes or anything. <laughs> that which is unseen. I, fly I can fly through the window, but not back out. Oh, maybe that's how I get out into the map. <gasps> I figured it out, everybody. I can show you the world. Nope. Oh, what? Oh, there we go. Check that out. Now who's smart? Now who's the smart guy? It's me. All right. So let's go ahead and set this up over point A. This is capture point A over here. They're going to try and capture this payload here on the bunny. Are we really going to see an offensive Hanzo? Are we really going to see an offensive Hanzo? All right, let me get ready to start this timer here. So I have my stopwatch. Three, two, one, click. And we're off. Let's go ahead and watch Stefan, the attacking Farah for Fnatic. So Fnatic, I believe, was the higher seed in this tournament. So they actually chose the map, as well as which side to attack. Did he actually knock someone off? No, no, they survived. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to see someone get knocked off in competitive play. Okay, Farah above getting healed up by Mort, or Morty, or Mort, or Morty, I'm not sure which. Probably Mort. Tried to bounce Reaper off there unsuccessfully, but defense looks like they have a regained control of this game. Stefan's still flying up, looking for those easy targets. Any blue outline is an enemy. It must be taken out. The enemy Farah is being played once again by Mendo Kusai. Healed up by Bruxy. So we have a Farah mercy combo on both sides. We've got McCree on the ground, actually. Let's watch uh, Valutaja on McCree with the flash and fan on Reinhardt, very, very quickly killing him off, getting a couple of shots off on Lucio and Reaper as well. Is Reaper actually down? No, not yet. Lucio died. We've got the Fair Mercy combo still above. Reaper looking to get some damage done from behind, but the flash and fan kills him as well. Deadeye is available for Fnatic. I'm just gonna keep watching my timer here so I can say what time they've actually completed it. Let's go ahead and take the overhead view. Once we hear that chime, that is the official time for capturing point A. But defense actually moving right back in here. They've got three ultimates available. There is the offensive Lucio ult to try and get his team moving forward. Defensive Reinhardt ult doesn't catch everybody. Only Zarya really over on the left side. Fnatic dropping the Graviton Surge to try and catch three members of the defense. But, oh, there's a big Mercy Res for offense. They're just kind of all spread out right now, though. Defense more clustered together. They're going to have a better time being able to defend this from multiple angles as a central unit. Zarya the only one down now for offense. Offense still pushing in, still contesting, and the time is 2.17 on my watch for the first checkpoint. Congratulations to Fnatic, setting a very good time there for capture point A. Let's go ahead and switch back onto... Actually, no, let's move the free cam up forward some let's to this next elbow. And then we'll go ahead and take Valutaja's POV as McCree. Fnatic, a very strong Overwatch team in the past here. We've seen them play in a number of tournaments already together. They did take third place over Melty Esports in the tournament uh, on Monday, hosted by ESL. But otherwise have lost to Melty every other time. Melty, of course, in the winner's bracket right now, and the uh, favorite to win the entire event here. Excellent old combo there from Zarya and Mendo on Farah with the Graviton Surge plus Barrage ultimates, killing off the entire attacking team. Very good stuff there. Let's switch back over to Stefan with his barrage available. Leaping into the air, taking some free shots into the windows just in case anyone was trying to peek out of there. I think he may have also seen Farah up in there. 
Okay. Oh, so another Graviton Surge and another Barrage available. She is going to point it directly at the Shield of Reinhardt, and it does melt Lucio and Reinhardt. Good job there for the other old combo. Both teams actually favoring the Graviton Surge plus Barrage over the Reinhardt Earth Shatter plus Barrage. Reinhardt Earth Shatter is actually better, technically, because it lays everyone flat, but a Barrage from Farah can actually go all the way through a Reinhardt Shield at pretty close range, so either one works pretty well. Lucio ult obviously messes that up if Lucio does have it, but right now Fnatic uh, did just chug through that checkpoint. I believe 410 was the time for that uh, second checkpoint. Go ahead and scoot on over to the next elbow here where we can get a good view of everything. We'll switch back over to Stefan on Farah, looking for some juicy targets. Getting healed up and damage amped by Mort as appropriate. I see Zarya there, not always the best target as she can just shield herself as a rocket is incoming and then you end up helping her and not hurting her, so that's kind of tough target for a Farah. Gonna need some other help from teammates on that one. It looks like Winston? No, McCree actually running around the top side there dueling with a Reaper. While the ground force here continues to push through this underpass, this can be a very difficult choke point to bust through. Usually it does take a, an ultimate combo. We do have Mercy Reses available on both sides. Defense actually with more firepower at their disposal at this moment. Deadeye is available though. This could be it. We could see a big one. Instead he cancels as everyone runs for their lives, but uh, the Graviton Surge comes out and McCree and team end up cleaning up everyone anyway. Mercy does bring everyone back. There's a combo of Reinhardt and Barrage, Earth Shatter and Barrage. There's the offensive barrage to counter. Mercy Res is going down on both sides there. Made that an incredible fight. Going back into third person now. Valutaja does have Deadeye available once again, but they're pushing forward super hard now. There's no defensive characters in range of the payload at all to be able to contest. Nevik's going to try and come in here with a Wraith Walk that does technically stop the payload, but he's going to get swatted down immediately. They are sitting on the payload here. All they have to do is kill off this Bruxy, this very low HP, very squishy target, and there you have it. Time set is about 6.03. So we'll see the official time after this play of the game. Play of the game. Fire at will. Justice reigns from Brutal. GH stands for good half, good half. Six oh eight time to beat. So I've got my countdown ready to go for the next round. Let's fix the overlay, make sure our colors are right. Fnatic will be defending now. Now that I know how to escape the airport, no bars can hold me. What does this building look like from the outside anyway? Yeah, it still doesn't look like an airport. There's not even any like landing docks or anything. <laughs> oh, there's a oh, there's rail cars though that might take you to the airport. This is a pretty sweet city, by the way. I like the gazelle buildings. They're just kind of littered throughout. And then you've got the plains on the other side. Very pretty. I would like to live here. All right, let's fly on. Oh, no. <laughs> Someone is just rejoining the game. They're asking if they needed a remake, but he rejoined pretty much immediately. Thanks everyone for watching. We got 61 viewers right now. I appreciate you guys coming and watching the good Last Stand, the good studio Overwatch EU Last Stand Invitational, the longest tournament name in the world. 
beta will be ending in potentially less than 24 hours, so it's fun to have a, an awesome tournament here right at the end I for everybody. This is a best of three series once again, in case you're wondering. So even if Fnatic does win this map, we'll move on to a second map. And I'll get ready to start my timer here. So you guys can see the time to beat. You slide it on over to Valfard. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and take Mendo's POV. No, let's do Nivix, actually. I like watching some Genji, especially with that Harmony Orb provided by T-Silver. The Genji Harmony strat, if you didn't know, is really, really good in casuals. Uh, <laughs> if you haven't got a chance to play the beta yet, that is something to definitely watch out for if and when you do finally get some access. Genji slicing through there does a lot of damage throughout with his shurikens and his dash. 50 instant damage from Nevix for every dash. About the same as the melee attack, but much faster and harder to get away from. Farah is trying to get away now from these shurikens. The attackers are doing a good job. We take this overhead view one more time. Genji is going to pop his sword ult and immediately get flopped. Defense quick to run back in though. They've got two tanks, two damage dealers, and a mercy there to clean things up. Clanton all alone does get swatted down. They, they captured the first third successfully, so at least they've got some progress made. Switching back over to Nevix now, be interesting to see if he tries to go ham and get into the back line and just start going crazy, or if he's going to wait for his team. He could just serve as a distraction here for the McCree and Reinhardt over on the side. Wow! Was that a headshot? He got completely flattened there. Back over to Mendo on Farah. Don't get headshot, dude. There was no damage amp on McCree that I could see. No, no mercy nearby. Barrage available now for Farah. Do they have that Zarya ult? Yes, they do. So just waiting for that juicy ult combo to try and take point A. We do have a Winston zapping away. There's a high noon. That's a defensive high noon, though. Oh, he could have tried to bounce him off, but did not actually have the cooldown available. He had six more seconds on that. That would have been just an amazing bounce off to uh, get a dead-eyed. Oh, look at that! Two two direct air rockets actually hitting Pharah, but with the Lucio buff from his ultimate, she did not go down. Normally, that would be a dead Pharah. Unfortunate for Mendo. Now just pointing barrage at him, trying to hit this Winston as well. Great job there from everybody. Mercy Res brings everyone back up. We're going to see that defensive Zarya. Oh, finally, Rocket's raining down inside. Do they have enough firepower to actually kill everyone, though? It doesn't look like it. Mercy, Winston, and Reinhardt still standing on the point. Offense trying to rush back in here. Nevix and T-Silver showing up on the bottom there. You can see Bruxy as Mercy tagging on to Farah. Winston goes down on the defense, but Genji is down on offense. Still 5v5 here at the point. Reinhardt going down to that barrage, it seems. And suddenly Lucio is the only one contesting the point. They've already captured two thirds of it. They just need that last third. Three minutes, 18 seconds remaining for the entire map here. And they do finally capture point A. Well done by Valfar. Gonna go ahead and move the camera over to the next bend here. Switch back onto Mendo, the Pharah that is doing such a good job clearing out those defenses. Three minutes remain here for Valfard to try and reach the end of the map. Fnatic doing a good job defending, of course, as well. Valutaja doing very good stuff with McCree. And at this point, we're just kind of watching the payload move. Nevix onto Reaper now off of Genji, getting a nice kill there on Winston. Looking for more targets. Does catch McCree with just barely any help, as well as that Farah. So Mercy picks now as the perfect opportunity to pick everyone back up. Reaper walks in to McCree, takes him out without a flashbang available. Winston normally doesn't win that fight against Reaper until he pops his ult. Reaper now with a Mercy healing him up. He's going to be able to keep him up pretty well. We've got Stefan on Fnatic with the barrage directly onto the point. Mercy Res from offense brings everyone back up and suddenly they are pushing along. They have two minutes, five seconds left to try to complete the map. It looks like they will successfully catch this checkpoint with defense all resetting. So there is an opportunity. They might actually do it. One minute, 55 seconds to go. That's a b about an appropriate amount here to try and finish this last leg. I'm going to move the free cam here once more and then go ahead and take Nevix's vision. Uh, he is the uh, offensive reaper here. All he needs to do is land one shot. Now he does have death blossom. He's going to move in, but there is a Winston shield up. 
that is not going to do anything, unfortunately. It always sucks when you're a Reaper and you're like, okay, I'm going to go in an ult. And then you just get completely shut down. Now he's got to rebuild that ult and he gets taken out. Let's go back over to Clever now for Valfar. Launching that Fire Strike out, getting some free damage in. He's got Earth Shatter available, so something you'll likely see is a dash in. Try to pin somebody, spin around, drop that Earth Shatter as quick as you can, let your teammates pick up the pieces. Mendo and Nevix, neither of them unfortunately has their ultimate, but Zarya with an ult means two CC ults in a row could be enormous, and there they do just that. The Lucio ult does give everyone enough HP to survive that onslaught. Pretty crazy stuff there. Reinhardt on offense down, but McCree and Winston both down for defense. They're going to push just a little bit further here. No defense dare contest this payload other than Reinhardt, so they are going to actually get a lot of free push here. Reinhardt up above. Not sure what his deal is, why he hasn't dropped down yet to try and swing away. There he does. Oh, he needed to get enough damage for his ultimate. That's what happened. Winghaven dropping down and not really getting a lot done with that Earth Shatter. Payload is moving once again. Stefan and Too Easy as the only ones contesting. Zarya is always in danger when she does not have her shield available. Clever once again throwing out that Fire Strike. They have 23 seconds to beat the time. This is actually going to be very, very close. If offense can wipe defense here, another big Earth Shatter and Barrage. They're going to do it. Oh no, Defensive Mercy ult comes out. They have 12 seconds. Technically every second counts, so if as long as defense just continues to postpone here, they might even switch to a D.Va. Yep, unfixed, swapping onto the D.Va, and two seconds left. That is time, unfortunately, for the offense. They had such a good play there to try and get the payload moving forward, but they just missed out on time. The two D.Vas, three D.Vas, four D.Vas actually for defense definitely means that they would not have had a chance. Uh, so GG there for game one. Going to Fnatic, might as well just finish it up, obviously as uh, we're very near the end here, pushing the payload will just keep us in the same lobby. But well played by Fnatic and Valfard for just having such a close game for game number one. Uh, let's go ahead and watch this play of the game. Play of the game. Good stuff there from both sides. We're going to remake, or no, we're not going to remake. We don't need to, but Fnatic does take a